Friends, in this session, I will only explain question number 5 of exercise 11.2. Now, in question number 5, a figure is given which is a parallelogram. Okay, and the name of the parallelogram is P Q R S. Now, inside the parallelogram, if you carefully observe, there are two heights are given. The first height is QM and the another height is QN. Fine. The measurement of QM is given 7.6 cm and this QM is perpendicular on which side? That is SR. So, I have explained earlier also that if you see height inside the parallelogram, so, you have to really see the height is falling on which particular line segment. Fine. So, QM is falling on SR. So, if this is height, then this would be base. So, the first thing they are asking to find out is what? Area of parallelogram P, Q, R, S. So, it's very easy. So, number one, we have to write the formula first. That is area of parallelogram P, Q, R, S is formula is what? Base into height. Isn't it? Now, what is base? Base is SR. The dimension is given. And height is given Q, M. Isn't it? Now, what is base? Base is SR. And what is height? Height is given Q, M. Okay. Now, SR is what? 12 centimeter. And what is QM? QM is 7.6 centimeter. Isn't it? Now, what is the simplest thing that we will do? We have to multiply 12 with 7.6 centimeter. Isn't it? So, the answer would be 91.2 centimeter square. So, the area of parallelogram is given 91.2 centimeter square. Now, the next thing you have to get the value of QN. QN where PS is given 8 centimeter. Now PS is given 8 centimeter. Okay. Now if you consider this as a height, then you have to consider PS as base. As because you know, you have to see that which one is a height and height is falling on which side, which light segment. Okay. So QM was falling on SR. So we have taken SR as base and this as height. But this time, now height is changing now. Now height is changed as QN. Now QN is falling on which line segment? That is PS, isn't it? So height is falling on this. So we will consider this PS as base. Height as QN. And already we know the value of what? Area of parallelogram. Now, what are the things given now in the second place? Area we know. Area is what? 91.2, isn't it? Now area is known to us. Now, base, I already said base, base is what? Base is considered as PS, that is it is said as 8 cm, isn't it? Now, what do you have to find it out? We have to find out height. Now, height is what? Height is QN, isn't it? So, QN is, you have to get the value. Now, area is given, base is given, you have to get the value of height. So, what would be the formula of height? Height would be equals to area my base. So, this is the formula. Now, what is area? Area is 91.2 and what is base? 8. Now, if you divide 91.2 by 8, you will get the answer as 11.4 centimeter. So, this is a required answer students. Okay. The first one, you need to get the value of area of parallelogram PQRS where this height and base is given. And the second part, you have to get the height. Okay, as because uh, these two heights are uh, of same parallelogram, that is PQRS, so the area will remain same. Understood? So this is the entire solution of question number 5. So for today, only one sum, question number 5. Thank you, take care and God bless.